So let me share with you a story that was given to me last Friday night. This lady's husband's name is Ray. When I use the word Ray, I am speaking of her husband. She said, last year, Ray said to me, it's going to cost a thousand dollars to put on a roof, a new roof. We need the roof. Well, it cost a thousand dollars. He didn't say they could not afford it. He just said, I saw the new roof. Right then and there, I saw the new roof. Then she said, I was working at my sewing machine. It's an old one, but it was adequate. It did the job. But I would like a new one, she said. And so, I imagined a new one. There's the old one, but I imagined the new one. Then I was putting away my tape recorder, and I felt how heavy this thing is. I would like a new, lightweight one. I put the old one away, the heavy one, but I thought I would like a new one that is light of weight. So I put it away, the new one, that was light of weight. Then she said, Ray said to me, my new shoes hurt. He just bought them and they were hurting. Well, I wanted him to have shoes that did not hurt. That in my imagination. All this was last year. Then came the turn of the calendar year, and we had a robbery. No, they didn't steal the roof, but they took the other movable objects. And this past week, I got a settlement from the insurance company for two thousand and fifty odd dollars. I now have my nice new sewing machine. I have my nice lightweight tape recording. Ray's shoes do not hurt. <laughs> and there is money for the roof and much, much, much left over. Now, who instigated the robbery? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do.